I'm here today to tell you a little bit about a PA invasive plant, poison hemlock. Poison hemlock is in the carrot family, uh, similar to Queen Anne's lace, cow parsnip, and giant hogweed. Poison hemlock is extremely toxic. We want to be careful and always wear gloves when we're handling or cutting the plant. Uh, all parts of the plant are poisonous if they're ingested. And actually, this is the plant that was thought to have been used to kill Socrates in ancient Greece. Poison hemlock, like many of the species in the carrot family, has this uh, pinnately divided compound leaf. And the, probably the best diagnostic characteristic is the stem. The stem of poison hemlock has purple blotches. It's hollow and smooth and has no hairs. Other species in this family uh, have ridges on the stem or have hairs. Uh, so that's really the best diagnostic characteristic. Poison hemlock is biennial, meaning that the first year when it germinates, it's going to be a small basal rosette of leaves along the ground. The second year, it will bolt and grow upward and flower like these plants here behind me. After these plants flower and set seed, they actually die and that's the end of their life cycle. This plant's first year of growth will only be in this rosette stage. It won't get any larger than this. These are the size plants that you one would want to target with a foliar herbicide to try to remove the species. You don't have to use nearly as much herbicide as you do the six foot tall mature plants. Most foliar herbicides will be effective against these, these plants. The best time to spray would be in the spring, or if you live down in the southern half of the state, you could even spray in the fall. And these rosettes become noticeable as soon as the snow melts. This is one of the very first things to turn green. If it has gone to flower, like these are about to do, you want to carefully remove the flower heads or the seed heads, uh, bag them and put them in the trash. That will stop new seed from being produced and spreading the infestation even further on your property.